Yeah, it's finally Friday. It's May the 6th. Hey there, I'm Ashton Altieri with you. As we move into Mother's Day weekend, we're going to transition into a very warm weather pattern. Ridge of high pressure uh, over the four corners is going is to ensure a completely dry day today and tonight. A little bit of mountain snow possible as we go through the weekend late tomorrow and into early on Sunday. Here is a storm system that's going to be uh, to the northwest of us uh, for the weekend. In between, Mother Nature is going to respond by generating quite a bit of wind. That tends to happen when we're in between pressure systems, and that's going to be our situation with a high to our southeast and that low to our northwest. We're going to have far more wind than moisture uh, this weekend in Colorado, and unfortunately that's going to drive the fire danger back up. Temperatures today top out in the 60s for the most part in the high country. We'll see 70s and 80s out west, 80s for the most part on the eastern plains, near 90 for some spots down here in southeast Colorado. In the metro area, we're going to reach at least 80 degrees today. The only area in Colorado with a high fire danger today is the San Luis Valley. A red flag warning there from 1 p.m. until 8 p.m. And then tomorrow, look how much warmer it gets. I mean, we're going to approach uh, at least mid to upper 90s in southeast Colorado, maybe a few triple digits down that way. Metro Denver, we're going to reach at least 85. Record for tomorrow in Denver is 87, so we'll be close. With the extra heat combined with some gusty wind and low humidity tomorrow, means if a fire were to start, it could spread very quickly again. This is for Saturday. Now, of course, we just had an inch of rain in Metro Denver earlier this week. That has helped. The problem is that our vegetation just has not had an opportunity to green up yet. So even with the recent rain, the fire danger is critical tomorrow, 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. A fire weather watch will likely turn into a red flag warning for tomorrow. And of course, you should avoid any kind of outdoor activity that could produce a spark on Saturday. Mother's Day 78 with a 10% chance for a late day dry thunderstorm. And then next week looks warm, 70s and 80s every day, maybe an isolated storm on Thursday. And it looks like a better chance for showers and storms as we get into next weekend, the 14th and 15th. So we'll keep you posted on that as we get closer. Don't forget we have your latest forecast every five minutes on CBS News Colorado, so you can stream that anytime. And my friend and colleague Lauren Whitney will be in tonight, CBS 4 News at 5, 6, and 10. We'll see you then.